we're going to use a two pattern to make this a delta. The top part come from uh, my delta video number one. You can click the video link under to see how to make a delta video number one. The pendy part come from uh, my video how to make a pendy. If you want to see the video, click the video link below. Now copy the uh, the two pattern on top of the paper. If you follow all my videos, and every time you save the pattern, make this delta will be very easy for you. And after copy all pattern, we are clear the uh, cutting line. Now cut the pattern. Make sure the shoulder line and the seams all match. Measure 1 inch down from underarm point. Measure 4 inch down from our color line. Connecting these two points with a curve. Next, we will work on the front pattern. Uh, measure 1 inch down from underarm point. Measure 7 inches down from top shoulder. Make point. And measure 4 inches. Draw straight line. From this point and to this point, connecting these two points with the curve. Now cut the pattern. The top part we're going to use a mesh material. The bottom part will use a four-way stretch spandex. Fold fabric double layers. Put the pattern on top. Make sure save a half inch for sewing. Again, fold the, the fabric to two layers and save half inch for sewing. We will use a nice stretch mesh uh, to cut the top part. Double fold mesh. The shoulder part and the bottom and the side seam need to save half inch for sewing. Uh, see, look like this. Fold the fabric to double layers to cut the back part. Uh, same thing on the shoulder top and the bottom and the side seam need to save half inch for sewing. The last step, we're going to use a spandex to cut one and a half inch wide fabric strap. Uh, those fabric strap we're going to use on the collar and the armhole. Uh, look like this. Fold the strap double layer. Later I will show you how to sew those parts. On the bottom, uh, we will use a quarter inch elastic. First, to sew the mesh and the spandex together, uh, use the zigzag stitches. By putting the two pieces together on the right place, you have to use a pen. After sewing, uh, you see 
and the zigzag stitches keep the fabric nice stretch. We will do the same thing on the other piece. After that, and uh, close one side shoulder. Get a piece of uh, fabric strap, fold to double layers, and sew together like this. Use the uh, zigzag stitches. Uh, for this part, we need to sew a second time. Make the same flat and sew the zigzag stitches again. It looks very nice and keep the fabric stretch. Make sure the fabric strap have enough length for the color. And after sewing first time, uh, we need to sew second time and make the same flat and uh, use the zigzag stitch to sew again. And after that, and close the other side, the shoulder. After this, uh, use uh, the fabric strap to finish the other side armhole. So on the two sides same. The last step, uh, we're going to sew the quarter inch elastic on the open leg part. The first time, use the zigzag stitches. It look like this, and fold the seam, and then use the zigzag stitches again. No, we just uh, made one beautiful leotard. Hi, thank you for watching my video. I will see you next time.